Hello everybody, I'm Carmen Hara and I decided to um, do some videos for you talking about the things that we, we are very interested in. Like for instance, today I decided to talk about why do we meet certain people, why people come in our lives and what type of relationships are we going through? Because the word relationships come from the Latin word well, relatio, which means uh, to comfort each other, to uh, relate to um, adjust to each other and we live in a world that we don't know exactly uh, why uh, sometime you know love can be so complicated actually we see everybody claiming that their relationship are very complicated and sometimes love can be complicated uh, to say the least but many of us we don't actually understand what are we getting ourselves into when we get involved with somebody so there's an old saying that people come in our life or God gives us people uh, for a certain reason, not the people we want, just the people to test us, to hurt us, to love us and to make us exactly who we are meant to be. So there is a meant to be component when it comes to relationships. And I speak as a relationship expert and I'm telling you, I've seen so many cases in my life of people who are trapped in the wrong type of relationships. But as I said, relationships are supposed to empower us, to make us feel better, to make us feel uh, the love that we need and experience that unconditional feeling. Except that many of them can be quite dysfunctional and uh, you, you better run away from them instead of staying in a dysfunctional relationship. So I will tell you how many types of relationship exist, what do they mean to you, and what you should do and react when it comes to being involved in one of those uh, four types of relationship. I'm gonna start by telling you that the first most common type of relationship are transitory relationships. A relationship that takes you from one phase into the next, like for instance, a young uh, teenager uh, entering a, a first love relationship becomes a woman. So that's a transition. It doesn't necessarily mean that that first love relationship will become a marriage for her or she will be committed to that person for the rest of her life. So that's a transitory. Let's say you've been divorced and you meet somebody. You're not ready to commit again. You're not ready to marry again, but you need that transition to take you from your first marriage into the next. And transitory relationships are more between two people who they feel they needy, they, they feel a chemistry, they feel a connection. But as I said, they're not really ready to get seriously involved into anything. So this is the first type, very common. And uh, this type of relationship is short-lived. People that exist in a transitory relationship will notice that this can suddenly end. This is a relationship that can last a year, two, five, but not very long because you're ready to go through the experience, learn the lesson that you meant to learn. Because as, as I said, every single person coming into your life will teach you something, will mold you, will take you out of the comfort zone. So that's what a transitory relationship will do. Uh, will make you wake up to your problems, to who you are, will a person is a reflection of who you are so that person coming into your life even if that person comes for a very short period of time of time will actually show you what you need to change which are your weaknesses which are your issues that you need to work on so allow that to happen but accept the idea that is just a transition so don't get attached the problem with us is that we get easily attached and involved too seriously in relationship that are not meant to last. So one of the reasons I'm doing this video is to make you understand that it's okay to go to a transitory relationship. Uh, another group of relationships that are extremely common and probably the most common type of relationship of all relationships is the compromise type of relationship. People compromise all the time. The reason they compromise is because they uh, get involved for the wrong reasons. The wrong reasons are, oh, we need to help each other. We have the same bank account. We need to share a home. Or probably we just have children together. So let's compromise. 
But compromised relationships are um, becoming extremely boring. So you just acknowledge you're not in love with that person. You just have uh, uh, all those technicalities, all the finance involved, all the survival things that, that you need to have, but you become unhappy and miserable in time. So you try to find love somewhere else. And in many cases, I've seen compromised relationship in both partners. They actually try to find or have love aside from the compromise. They are legally married. They live under the same roof, but they love somebody else. And that's okay because they will agree and compromise with having other partners. So if that's okay with you and that is the type of relationship you are in, you have to think about that. Is that something you want to continue to live in or do you have the courage, you know, and are you ready to break through this type of relationship and try something else? And that something else might be probably the best scenario of all scenario, which is experience of a soulmate relationship. Now, a lot of people don't even believe in soulmate relationship. They think that doesn't really exist. The reason people say soulmate relationships are probably so rare up to a point that they, you cannot even find them in a lifetime is because they are really rare. And when two people found each other, they are so connected. They are glued to each other. They run home from work to see each other. They become inseparable. Uh, and that relationship is so intense and it's so unconditional. And it's like the two people against the world. You know, you finish each other's sentences. You can envision your life without the other person. And the soulmate relationships are almost like indestructible relationship. So you see two people that after 20, 30, sometimes even 60 years of marriage, they are so connected to each other that if the one dies, the other one has to die. They cannot see life without each other. It's beautiful. It's magnificent. It's not so easy to find because you just find what is considered to be uh, the other half. We are just incomplete in this world. We are just half of the sphere. So in order to move the will of life, to create the samsara, like the ancient teaching talks about the fact that everything is in movement, in transformation, you have to create the will because everything is round in order to move, in order to transform. So you are half of the sphere, the other person is the other half. And if it's a perfect match, then that's what you're going to get. The last uh, type of relationship is the karmic one. Karmic relationship comes uh, uh, with a sense of deja vu. You have a feeling like you know this person. You see that person for the same time, but that person is so familiar. Karmic relationships are extremely in intense. They can be extremely positive or they sometimes can be very complicated and difficult because they open up to memories of your soul. If you think of the law of karma. The, the number one law of spirituality, the fact that um, like the old teachings say that we live numerous lives and we carry memories. So your soul identifies that other person uh, from somewhere else that you don't know exactly from where. So karmic relationships can appear even where, if you're in a transitory or in a soulmate relationship. So that karma needs to play out. So here we are with the four types of relationship, karmic relationships, uh, transitory relationship, compromise relationship. And if you are really lucky, you're in a soulmate relationship. But I advise you to allow this relationship to come into your life and look for the best, because this is the way that you change, uh, change yourself. Your relationship will transform you and mold you into the person that you are meant to be. I'm Carmen Hara, and if you like my videos, I will want you to come back and uh, send me your, um, your uh, comments and let me know what you think about what I have to say, and I'll be glad to communicate with you further. So um, in case you wanna reach to me, my email is carmenhara at AOL, and you can write me an email. 
And my website is www.carmenhara.com. And thank you so much for watching.